interested uh, with this one. This, made, this lovely man made me feel like I'm a, also a dad and might want to connect to a lady in the audience. I kept, I, I kept getting this impression of planting a tree, so there might be something to do with the planting a tree that honors them. But it was definitely like fruit trees. Um, um, so, so well, anyway, I got this impression. And I didn't mind Robert or, or Bob or being or Robert that might connect. And I felt like there might be an Uncle Jimmy or James or a Jock or Jack, that's Jock, that, that might connect. So there's a bit of a Scottish impression. And then um, in, in, in my mind, there was, uh, uh, I keep seeing like a kilt, a red kilt, but it looked tartaned, but red in colour, so it was very, very vivid uh, when, when I see it. But I, no, I don't think it wore it all the time or anything like that, but I think. For tr tradition, there must have been something to do with him, uh, tradition-wise. Um, uh, anyway, there's that impression from him. I, I, I like to kind of move a bit, so I'm, I like to dance a little bit. I'll do a bad impression of him dancing, um, but um, there was that impression. Now, I've got a daughter who's Avalon, but sometimes she gets called Ava, so in my mind when I was writing this down, I was thinking, uh, maybe if I just write a Ava, there must be a connection to Ava here. It's so it's, it's just connected to you? Okay, okay. so you can, uh, so Robert, your dad? My dad's yep. name is Robert, he's from Scotland. Okay. And my daughter's name is Ava, and okay. he was an avid health nut. Love planting fruit trees. So what, what's, you know, I saw, I kept seeing a guava tree though. What's the, is it Yeah, he lived in North Queensland, and he planted like loads of, of trees. And actually I planted guava for him on his birthday. Okay. The year after he died. Okay, because that's what he showed me. Planted oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And what about this kilt thing? Yeah, he wore a kilt all the time. He used to play the bagpipes in a Scottish um, band, and he had a kilt um, laid out for him when he had his memorial service. And he wrote right up there a newspaper article. There was a newspaper article. Okay. Well, yeah, because I feel like. But I like you. Well, he's proud of. I think there's things that he must have done that you're doing or taking with you because of his impressions. Because I felt like he's just sounds so proud of you for uh, you know taking some of this man's uh, ideas or, or moving forward with it. Um, you know, I think maybe he got um, what's the word? You know, when someone is uh, doing right about themselves and other people uh, might uh, have an opinion. So I feel like he was, you know, headstrong, very determined man, and didn't care what people think, think or thought. So he was just in his way. This is the way I, I, I believe it to be. So he, he, I think he walked the talk. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He walked. He walked the talk. Thank you for drawing down. Ah. And you can. Spot on. One hundred percent. Okay, and you can really take take yeah. a likeness in it. Absolutely. He loved uh, chairs. All of the things that you wrote there was spot on. Okay. Um, and would he have, uh, I feel like he met his dad, right? Yeah. Uh, and I feel like he must have really missed his dad or, or uh, not always together. And any connection with overseas with him? Yeah, so dad was born um, technically in England, but his father was Scottish. Okay. His mum just went over the border to have him and then moved back to Scotland. He was yeah. raised in Scotland. His dad was Scottish. Okay. And I said Jack or Jock, any influence? Yeah, um, and, and, uh, and I want to say William, who might be Bill now. William is his father. Okay, that's okay. Um, yeah. Jack. Or Jock. Sometimes with Scottish, it can be Jock, you know. Yeah, Jock. I'm, I'm not picking up on that. Okay. But, um, oh, yeah. and what I've written down here, I've got Lake Mackenzie because I saw Morton Island. Did, did Fraser you go, Island, yeah. Did you, did you go with him to Fraser? I didn't. Oh, when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah. And actually, yeah, I, I did go when I was a kid, and I love Lake Mackenzie. Like, there's something about that place that just lights me up. When well, I, I felt with him because it's a Scottish connection, and Lake Mackenzie, you know, yeah, like, yeah. it's yeah. like Scottish. Scottish you know, yeah. sort of thing. Um, I've written here. Love also. I forgot to mention. Love to mum and 70th birthday or something. Is that right or not? Say again. Sorry. Love, love to mum, 70th birthday. Yeah, that was last year. <laughs> she turned 70. Okay, yeah. so I just want to make sure, because anyway, very proud. But yeah, he passed just before I was born, so I'm very 
just before that in 2019. So you're obviously this month's birthday. Oh, well, can you tell her that he was there and he loved it or was a big fan of her? Yeah. It was hard though. I think it was hard for her, wasn't it though? She had a brave face about it, right? Yeah, they had a messy divorce and time yeah. after, yeah, um, before he passed. But yeah. there was still, he he was the true love of her life. So. Yeah. Well, and vice versa, right? Can you let her know that it's, it, it goes both ways? Yeah. yeah. And that, um, the, the sketch? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm hearing now. If I could turn the time, <laughs> if I could find a way. So I feel like he's quite a character, yeah? Yeah. Thank um, you. No problem. Please take his love. He loves you immensely. Oh, and there's got to be love to Jade. Uh, that's that's a my daughter's name, Jade. <laughs> Because my we've we've got a girl with Jade in it, and uh, I've been just impressed by him now to say Jade. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his granddaughters are Ava and Jada. Okay. Okay. Well, he, they were his world, I think. And so are you. Okay. Please take his love. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you.